What's up guys? So it's uh, another day, continuing on the uh, 2020 Turbo S UTV source build. So, got the uh, Cognito cage on, got the Cognito doors, Cognito window nets, and the Cognito rear spare tire flip up mount. It's awesome. So today, I'm gonna be ripping the suspension off, the stock suspension. We're gonna go with the Cognito suspension kit on this. Trailing arms, uppers, lowers, I'm gonna do it all. So I'm gonna jack it up and uh, get the wheels and tires off it, put it down a little lower on the jack stands and tear into it. Okay, so I've got the front suspension off. Uh, comes off pretty easy, no big deal. I just let the axle hang and the, the tie rod hang and the brake calipers resting on the ground. I always keep my Pro Eagle jack underneath it even though it's on jack sense, just in case. And I always put my nuts and bolts back in in case I kick them and I don't lose them. So I wanted to show you the difference now between the stock arm and the aftermarket Cognito upper arm. You're gonna notice a few things right off the bat. One, the Cognito arm is boxed. It's also internally gusseted and it's edge welded all the way around. The stock arm is not. It's stitch welded and it's got some sheet metal work on it for the doubling plate. And it runs a factory ball joint. And there's nothing wrong with the factory ball joint. There's actually nothing wrong with these arms. They're, they're Compared to the Can-Am and other models out there, these are pretty heavy duty, but they do break and they do bend under big loads. So the Cognito kit, you can see it's, he's left the edge on there so you actually get more heat penetration and more fillet weld on the overall design of it. You can see the machine work inside. So there's more material inside as well, right here. They run a larger bushing than the factory bushings that wear out and it's going to run a spherical bearing or better known as a uniball so these are replaceable as well you can see all the internal gusseting in it it's a pretty nice kit that's how i opened it up these are the lower arms right here haven't opened those up yet i've gone through the instructions briefly this is all the hardware it's really nice hardware guys um, so i'm going to get to it i just wanted to show you the big difference between the, the two, and uh, I'm gonna get uh, cracking on putting them on. So I thought this was interesting. In the Cognito kit for the lower arm, you actually are able to adjust the camber on this. And I didn't know this until I read the directions, but from left to right on a factory Polaris Turbo S, that the camber is off from left to right. So these shims inside here allow you to shim out. And this is pretty beefy. This is off your lower. It's all machine. You can see the, the groove in there. If you look inside, it notches into there so it won't just spin. So this slides in. Into the groove. And then you have your shim adjustment here for the camber. And that's lined up. That's pretty cool. So one corner is on. The install wasn't too bad. To be honest, you can see the spherical bearings or uniballs, 12 point hardware. So, still gotta attach the brake line and go back through it, but I won't do that until I get the other side back on. So, 
a little bit more to go for the front. And uh, we'll tear down the rear. All right, there she is. Front end's on. All the new Cognito parts are on it. Went on pretty easy, um, to be honest. Before I started hanging the rear suspension, I wanted to go over a couple key points on the stock arm and the Cognito replacement arm that we're gonna throw on it. So I've got the factory Turbo S trailing arm up on the table and the aftermarket Cognito replacement trailing arm up on the table. One trailing arm is stitch welded out and just looks unfinished. The Cognito trailing arm, again, is completely welded out and boxed and they leave just enough lip on there for a nice fillet weld. The Cognito trailing arms look like they have a bunch more strength where it's needed, which is right here where the load is on the shock. There's more shoulder engagement for your bolt because it's overlay plated. They've left the brackets for your brake lines that are included right here. This is the factory hardware, super loose. It's brand new. In the kit with the Cognito trailing arm, you're gonna notice right off the bat, it's stainless. And that spherical bearing looks to be a lot stronger. So I wanted to show, show you guys that before I went ahead and bolted it on. So another thing we're gonna change out on this, you're not gonna run the factory sway bar end links. We're just not gonna put that back on. We're gonna upgrade that as well. I've got everything ready to go on on the driver's side, so I'm gonna get back to it, guys, and uh, keep rolling along. All right, guys, so it's on. Gotta be honest. It was probably one of the easiest kits I've put on in a while. All the spherical bearings, they're installed already. You don't have to press those in. Uh, you don't have to change out ball joints because this is a uniball kit in the front. So everything just slides right in, into place. You can see how the, the brake lines are tabbed in. I didn't have to clearance any holes. So that's always nice. Uh, they pretty much just slid themselves right into position. Again, it was probably one of the easier kits I've, I've installed. Pretty excited about it, looks really good. I have not installed the sway bar in links. I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and actually take the sway bar out. I know these are a common problem, this casted sway bar in link. Before I reinstall anything, I'm gonna go ahead and swap those out. I actually have the Cognito machined ones and it's gonna give me some more meat in this area here. So right now is a good time to, to address those. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear those off and uh, we'll continue on on this build.